Welcome to the final Amazing Race review. It's the final leg in a race around the world. And we tried to spring for the headbands, but unlike all the contestants, ours are not dirty and disgusting and like... It's not working. Really easy to wear. They're all stiff and like blah. I feel like... But whatevs. Pocahontas. We had to do it because it's the last We show. had to. And we had to do the tiaras. It's kind of hard to work a bandana and a tiara at the same time. But we're going to. 11 teams started out in L.A. So and we're now we're down to the final three. That's right. So we've got Ron and Christina, the bickering father-daughter team. Yep. Uh, Nick and Don. Don is the oldest ever in the final three. And they are grandpa and grandson. Or grandpa, grandpa and, and fetus. fetus. <laughs> okay, and then that winds us up with TK and Rachel, the dating couple. And they are the calmest on the whole race. Or ever. Yeah, that's that's uh, what their trademark is, that they're calm and collected. So Ron and Chris were the first team to depart at 9.47 in the morning. And they were instructed to fly 4,500 miles to Anchorage, Alaska. This is going to be the final city in the race. That's so they're right. Like, they had to go to the 6th Avenue Outfitters where they would get their next clue and gear. So TK and Rachel departed at 10.30, and Gramps and Nick departed at 10.37. Yeah, so everyone is really close right now. Um, it's pretty much anyone's race. Right, they all ended up on the same flight, too, because there's only one flight to Anchorage. And <laughs> How many flights go there a day? Yeah, I know. <laughs> they were probably lucky to get that. So, Ron and Chris are little sneaky snakes. They got uh, permission to go to the lounge or something. The airport lounge where and there's internet yeah. access. They were checking out the um, 6th Avenue outfitter. Right. I don't know how much time it saved them, but sneaky snake. And uh, they were told at the 6th Avenue outfitters that they needed to go to the waterfront Ship Creek yeah, it kept, boat launch. It sounded like they were saying something <laughs> else the whole time. Something bad. Bad words. The waterfront shiz creek. Yeah, boat launch. And Grandpa <clears throat> and Nick forgot their gear. That little frog. Okay. So why didn't the guy tell them? He could have said, bag. "Grandpa, you forgot your bag, man." But no. I guess they're just not allowed to do that. So they got the clue and left without the gear. So now it's time for the detour. Mm -hmm. And you could either cut the cod. Or grab the crab. Ooh. I know. They both sound interesting. I know. Well, cut the cod was these giant freaking codfish. And they were huge. Yeah. So you had to take the knife that was in your gear bag and, like, slice it down Flay. the middle. Flay. And, like, all the innards came outwards. <laughs> it was really, truly disgusting. Yeah, and the clue was in, like, this little itty-bitty canister Oof. inside the fish. I don't know how they got it in there. I don't know either. They must have, like blow gunned it in there. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. But grab the crab was you gotta get into this dirty stanky pit Ew. with like mean old Alaskan crabs that are like really Didn't big. Didn't they say there's like five hundred or something? They they were mean. That's in, all like, I know. In like a giant tank. I don't care how many were in there. They were just Pinching. And you had to find the one in the tank that had the race colors. They didn't even get to put on like hip boots or anything. No, no protection. They went in their clothes. They went in in their skivvies. And they had like these retarded uh, plastic gloves that were like at the deli <laughs> counter to protect them from those things getting like pinching them. Yeah. So Ron and Christina decided that they were going to cut the fish open. Mm -hmm. And they didn't realize that it was almost as big as they were. <laughs> they were going to cut that cod. Yeah, so... Uh, uh, Ron started like cutting it open. Yeah, and, only uh, one person could use the knife. Right. And uh, they were digging through it and they were lucky enough to find the clue right away. Yeah. So First they, fish. Right. They were told to travel 60 miles by taxi to the boat landing. Yep. And there they would take a high speed boat to 20 mile glacier and scale the glacier. What? I know. Crazy. They should have been like, all right, your clue is inside the glacier. <laughs> you have to wait until global warming causes it to melt and then retrieve wow. your clue. Wouldn't that be funny? And then bring it to Al Gore. <laughs> you know, just as an aside, I'm so glad that Amazing Race decided to make the finale one hour instead of two like most other shows would do because, you know, it's just like... Ugh. Can they string this out any longer? Thank you, Amazing Race, for making it doable. So... Gramps and Nick realize 
that they forgot their gear and they got to run their asses Ramps back there and pissed. get it. I know. He He's like, Nick, you read the clue wrong and you didn't understand it, you son of a bitch. <laughs> he <laughs> he was come. pissed. He was pissed. But you know what? This is a million dollars. Tensions are running high. So, uh, TK and Rachel. They decided they to do the crabs. Went with the crabs. And they were pinching. Yeah, they would pick one up and be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, he was like, let go, dude. Ow, ow, ow. TK's yeah. like, ow. Dude, not cool. <laughs> <laughs> they were almost ready to give up, and then they found it. Mm -hmm. So Gramps and Nick decided to do the fish. Mm -hmm. And they pretty much found it right away, too. Gramps knows how to fillet a fish. He's good. He's a hunter and a fisher. So... He told Nick right after he cut it open, he's like, you get right in there and start looking for it. And he's like, with my hands? <laughs> no, with your feet. <laughs> you know? Nick. Come, come on. This is the amazing race. you got to get your hands in there. It wouldn't be dirty. amazing if you didn't have to use your hands. I know. So, at the glacier, <laughs> Christina was having a tough time. She was. I really didn't think she was going to make it. Ronald was actually like, he was moving. He was like light years ahead of her. <laughs> and it, then Christina was like, I can't do it, Dad. It didn't look that hard once you got past that lip part. But that lip part was killer. That was hard. So once you climb up the glacier, you have to take a helicopter across the Alaskan wilderness back to uh, Merrill Field and then a taxi to Goose Lake Park. Mm. I know. It sounds complicated, and well, it that, is. Uh, Alaskan wilderness was insane. Man. Oh, it was beautiful. I was, I was like, let's move to Alaska. And I was like, no. But then I saw, I like the, I saw the moose in the water, and I was like, that thing's as big as my car. I'm not going there. <laughs> I'm going to drive a moose. <laughs> Does he have a horn? Yes. Okay. You pull the lever <laughs> on its head. Well, at Goose Lake Park, there was a roadblock, and you had to relive the race. One teammate had to relive the race. Right. And because it was this little puzzle thing, mm -hmm. and there was like 15 objects, 15 objects. Which some of them were alive. Mm -hmm. Like the uh, Japanese cleaner guy and Are the you donkey an who, but yeah. who took a dump on Christina's stage yeah, and a chicken. So the rules for this were so confusing. They were really confusing. You had to use ten items and put them on their platform. Right. On the platform. and To fit the puzzle. There was one combination that would work. Right. So Christina, Rachel, and Nicholas... They, All, were the they were the three who did it, and they were pretty much neck and neck, and nobody got it right away. No. But they were Christina struggling. was close. She only had one wrong. She, yeah, but then she messed up some other things and took off some of the ones that she had right already, which really screwed her up. Yeah. So Rachel, by some miracle, was like, oh, man, it's not this pole. It's this. It's that. So she was like, I'm done. And the thing, whoop, popped up, and yeah, she Yeah, if you got it right, the clue box was like, Ch yeah. Here's your clue. So she got it, and uh, on the clue it said, travel by taxi to the Captain Cook statue. Mm -hmm. So then right after uh, Rachel got it, Christina got it. Yep. So they were neck and neck to get to the next clue. And when they got there, it said, find the salmon hooker. Or as TK says, the salmon hooker. <laughs> well, wherever she is. She's on the corner <laughs> right down the street. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we have enough money. <laughs> All right. That was cheesy, so, but we went there. We had to. <laughs> so TK and Rachel got to the hooker first. Mm -hmm. Then they were like, this is it. Take a taxi right. to Gridwood Airport. Is it Gridwood or Girdwood? Uh, according to what you said here. I think it's, it's Girdwood. My eyes look like ours and my ours look like eyes. And then run to the finish line. Oh, my. It's this close. is it, kids. This is it. It was neck and neck to get to the airport between Ron and Christina and TK and Rachel. Everyone's there, and they're like, ah! Yeah, this is Nate and Jen. Are they together? I don't know. I hope not. Kit and Vixen were like, woo! <laughs> you know, TK and Rachel won. They did. They were the first team to arrive at the pit stop. And they were awarded this beautiful softball trophy. <laughs> little uh, little league trophy from 1995. Excellent. This is a keeper. It's freaking me out, man. <laughs> TK is like, yo. He couldn't is, accept I'm it. I'm tripping, yo. Ron and Christina. They were very close. They, they were, were like second. right behind them. And even though they didn't win, they did. Yep. Their and, relationship and they know back it. on track. I know. 
I felt really uh, good for them until Ronald opened his mouth and said, For once in my life, when I say I love you, I, I really, really mean, mean it. it. I was like, that is not something you say. <laughs> like, he probably didn't mean it the I'm way sure that it came out. I'm sure he didn't mean it the way it came out. But the way that it came out, I would be insulted. Wow, I was just like, what? Did he just say that? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Now I know that you never loved me before this. Really. And Nick and Don showed up in third. Oh, I wanted them to win. I know. They really grew on me throughout the race. They did grow on me, too. And I was kind of sad that they uh, didn't win in the end. But you know what? Don still will have the distinction of being the oldest person to ever finish the race, mm -hmm. even though they didn't win. So let's end it with a quote from TK. Nice, nice guys can finish, finish first. first. So kids, until the next season of Amazing Race, much, much love. love.